Billy is on his way home from school. He's 16 and has a rare chromosome disorder. It means he can't walk or talk. He needs help to dress, eat with everything. Local authorities have a legal obligation to provide transport to and from school for children like Billy up to the age of 16. After that, each council has its own policy. He does well, he's progressing. He's got all the stuff that he needs at school. It's just accessing it. We just asked him for this tiny little bit of help to get him there. When he turns 16. Okay, so yeah, so the local authority has a statutory duty until 16 to, to provide that transport. And then they have a statutory duty to provide it from 19. But between those times, it's, it's discretionary. Round and round the garden. Like a teddy bear. Funding for Billy's transport was withdrawn in September. Liana appealed, but her local authority said in their view, Billy's case wasn't exceptional. The bigger picture here, of course, is that council budgets have been cut every year since 2010. The local government association told us councils want to provide a high quality service, but it's becoming increasingly difficult in the face of such sustained financial challenges. A lot of authorities are reinterpreting or changing their policies. Michael King, the local government ombudsman for England, has seen a significant rise in complaints from the public. We understand the financial pressures on local authorities, and you know it's not for me to say whether that's driving some of these changes. But what's well, the only driver, isn't it? Well, what we would say to local authorities is, if you're going to change your policy, you need to be clear about what those changes are. You need to explain them to the public so people can make an informed choice. But that's little comfort to Liana. She's a single mum, left school at 16. Later in life, she went to university and now works full-time as an English teacher. She's currently paying for Billy's travel to school herself. It's now costing me £500 a month in taxi fees and to pay for the escort. Can you afford that? No. So what happens? A few weeks ago, I handed in my notice because I can't work and take Billy to school each day. It's just not possible. You can have it. You can have it. No, no, no. Billy will continue to go to school, but it means Liana's career is over. As the government struggles to balance the books and cuts continue to bite, there will be more hard cases like this. Graham Satchel, BBC News.